Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try Pure Carbon by Just Jack. So, this fragrance, I'm gonna show you the bottle in the presentation, but first, you need to know this is a clone of Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. So, I will be able to tell you it also if it smells like Tom Ford Noir Anthracite. So, first, we're gonna look at the bottle. The bottle is like most of the Just Jack with a little metal plate on it. It's kind of crystal, this, this one is kind of opaque and a little scratch on it I don't know probably cannot see it and the back look like this it still have a style similar to Tom Ford fragrance with a spray like this the cap is really big I think those presentation for the price they are really good for this perfume now for the box it looks like this And the inside, there's a little plastic to put bottle. So now we're gonna try to smell. The spray is not some crazy spray. I won't spray it there because there's my computer and I don't want all the fragrance to just fall there. But it's not such a good spray. It's a bit cheap, it just does the little mist. So the first thing I get, even from the spray, I get some earthiness and some birch a little bit a little bit more earth earthiness i don't know already to describe it when i smell it on paper it's really different than on skin it smells like ginger it smells really spicy with other spice in the background but nothing that you can really describe there's some bitterness I would say probably come from leather, maybe from birch. That's about it. What I smell on my skin, it's the note of birch that is really powerful and there's a lot of earthiness. You know, I compared Noir Dracit to Aventus and Club de Nuit en Semaine because both of them have the note of birch that is really present. I would say that pure, pure carbon and of course, uh, Noir Anthracite are more dark and earthy than Aventus Club de Nuit en Semaine that is more bright and uplifting in a way. Also on my skin, what I get, the earliness, I would say it's many things all together. Patchouli, maybe some of the wood and the leather. It's hard to really describe it. But mostly it's dark earthy birch that I'm smelling on my skin. Longevity is a bit over average. It lasted on me about a bit over six hours. And projection is good. It uh, project, you know, a close bubble around you. And people, it, it will be soft. It's not like strong. It's soft, but people can still have a little whiff of your perfume if they go next to you. And for the comparison, I don't have like sprayed it on a paper or an actual bottle of Noir Tracite, but I remembered when I smelled it. I remember the smell, it was really good. The only thing that was bad is that longevity and uh, projection was not good on this one, but it smells really similar. I would say maybe 85, 90% similar. There is some difference that are there, but it's, it's really close. It's mostly in the opening ginger and all occur a bit differently if you will go next to each other but uh, from I'm saying that even though I don't have them next to each other but uh, I would say that's really similar and I would say even more that is the first just Jack I'm gonna say this but I prefer pure carbon than a Noir Tracite and the reason is really simple is that Noir Tracite didn't last long they didn't project at all and pure carbon it lasts longer and it project better so for me, it's more of an improvement on one tracet than just a club. Now for the complete note breakdown. Top notes are ginger, bergamot, and Sichuan pepper. Heart notes are spicy note, jasmine, and galbanum. And the base notes are birch, 
litter, ebony wood, patchouli, sandalwood, amber wood, and cedar. And where would see this fragrance? You know, I haven't watched my review of Noir Tracid before doing this. So it could be interesting to see how I was rating Noir Tracid at the time, because, you know, by rating of what kind of fragrance it is, it's really subjective and it changed from time to time with taste, with people, with seasons and all. So maybe it's not the same. But I would say it's a nice business fragrance. It smells different. It smells good. It smells still like a nice fragrance. I mean, it's a clone of a Tom Ford. So of course it smells like something nice and a bit fancy. I don't think it will be so good as a dating fragrance, but I don't think it will be so bad because, uh, you know, Club de Nuit Asman, Sash Aventus are really well loved and it still have a little vibe of that fragrance. So I would say that might be good in a way in the winter summer spectrum i would say might be good for for summer the the, the smell is really not summery it's more wintry i would say so it could be good for summer going out because projection is not crazy in winter though projection is not there the this you know uh winter will uh, stop the projection so it won't be really good of course inside it will be perfect and as an everyday fragrance i think it could be nice it's different it's elegant it's kind of having the world of people pleasing and the world of being bold together that fragrance so it would make a nice everyday scent also it won't choke people around you which is also good and the price is cheap and how who I will see really wearing this fragrance is someone that is dressing sharp but not like following trend. Someone that might be wearing a, a black suit, a black shirt, maybe some tie or not. I don't know if you have the idea. You know what people say usually that's the image of someone they see with a uh, Encre Noir, it's the image of the person I would see with this fragrance. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, well, like and share. And if you tried this fragrance, just write it in the comment, tell me what you think about it. If you tried any other Just Jack, go and comment, tell me what you think about them. And I'm still having a lot of other, not a lot, but a couple of other fragrances of Just Jack to try. And I already tried a lot, so if you're interested, you can go check my playlist and see other Just Jack if you're interested to see this. So, thanks for watching, and see you soon.